So let's create a logo for your blog. Now to do that, I like to use a dimension, a custom dimension of 800 by 200. All right, so let's play around. I'm using Canva. And so there's a lots of different templates and icons and elements that you can use. You can just search for them right here. So I'm gonna search for paint. And there's lots of different things you can use for your logo. If I wanted to stretch this, maybe put my signature color there. If it's a um, blue, like that, then on top of that, maybe I can put my, my name, <clears throat> excuse me. So I can do something like mom and let's use there's lots of different fonts to choose from. I'm going to play around with this one. So mom, that looks a little big. I want, I think I want blog to stand out. So mom blog, and then I'm going to use a scripted font. Again, with your logo, you want it to be too, um, I guess, dressed. You want it to not take away from everything. So let me just shorten that. So maybe only using one script font so that it's easy to read, it stands out. That's still too big. All right, and then I'm gonna copy the mom text and I'm gonna just put it over here and let's see if I can fit that in. Okay, so we're going to move this over more, move that, make room for everything there. And then we can use our other brand color, sort of this reddish color here. Um, blog can be, um, if I move it white, it's kind of hard to read. But it could be like a, a gray color. Like that, if I wanted to play around. The darker gray. So I can do something like that if I wanted to. Just make sure everything is good. All right, so if that was my logo, then I would just download it as a PNG, there's no pictures in that. And then I would upload it to my blog and use it as my logo. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so you just go to Media Library and you drag your logo, once it's downloaded from Canva, into your Media Library, and there it is. So then what you can do is you can go to Appearance, Customize, and then we can add our logo that way. So I think it's under Header. Site identity, we're gonna remove this logo and we're gonna select the logo we want. It's gonna open up our media library. And the media library is where we host all our files, our images and things. So, and we're gonna skip the cropping and boom, there it is. Now again, you can change the size of your logo. So however big you want it, but there it is. So now I have a new logo for my new blog. There you go.